Hi everyone, welcome to the module of drug related problems in clinical pharmacy practice. Uh, my name is Nur Azati Atira. Uh, I'm a lecturer in School of Pharmaceutical Sciences, uh, University of Science Malaysia. Before you treat a man with a condition, know that not all cures can heal all people. For the chemistry that works on one patient may not work for the next because even medicine has its own condition. So in treating your patient, make sure that you understand that there can be variability in the patient's uh, response and the patient's um, tolerability to certain medication and it's not necessarily because of the patient factor itself it may also comes from the drug factor as well in this lesson we will discuss about the types of drug related problems drps and the appropriate interventions in general the, uh, to discuss and also to discuss the appropriate patient monitoring process during a follow-up evaluation in drug therapy assessment so drug related problem is defined by Cipolle as uh, any undesirable event experienced by the patient that involve uh, or is suspected to involve uh, drug therapy and that actually or potentially interferes with a desired patient outcome. So we have here three factors. So three factors here, event, patient and uh, drug itself which may interfere with the desired patient outcome so the patient did not uh, end up with the desired outcome that we had expected now we come to the types of drug therapy problem but before that let us uh, revisit the workflow for a clinical pharmacist so we have soap plan for pharmacists and uh, it starts with the initiating a therapeutic relationship with the patient then we assess the subjective parameters followed by uh, objective parameters and followed by the assessment of drug use so this is when you need to identify any drug related problems in your patient and mainly we want to know whether the condition that the patient's having now due to the disease that the patients already have is it a new disease is it an a pre-existing disease or the symptoms might be associated with drug use and then once you identify the um, drug therapy problems we can create a therapeutic plan for the patient to solve the DRP followed by monitoring plan and uh, eventually we need to do follow-up evaluation as well and as I mentioned before PCI um, so as I mentioned before, DRP or pharmaceutical care issues, uh, it, can, it has the three of these components. It means that the patient's having problem or any condition, it involves drug therapy, and it might causing an uh, undesirable effect in which there is an association between drug given or drug plan to be given with the patient's current condition in which we need to identify. Identifying DRP or PCI it requires clinical judgment, uh, a thorough understanding of the patient as a whole person. We, so we do not treat the le value levels only. So we do not treat only one uh, disease of that patient if the patient is having multiple diseases. We also need to uh, evaluate the patient factors as well. So what is the patient uh, preference? What is the... Uh, patient's uh, social factors, uh, their support, the disease knowledge itself. So is your patient having uh, an adequate knowledge of the communication skills between healthcare providers and the patient also requires, um, is also required during the, um, the assessment of drug therapy. And also lastly, systematic approach to patient care process like we have discussed uh, earlier. So we have several types of drug-related uh, drug problems or DRPs. So the first is in the correlation between drug therapy and medical problem. So it mainly involves a prescribing uh, error in which the patient might get drugs 
any drugs without a medical con uh, medical indication in which we call it as a uh, over prescribing or the patient may have uh, any unidentified medication so medication was given without any clear indication so it's misprescribing and also any untreated medical uh, condition in which patients need that drug therapy but it was not given or not yet started so it's called under prescribing so the second second component of uh, drp is regarding the appropriateness of the therapy so these are the several questions that we can answer when we want to do the drug therapy assessment to prompt us uh, on any uh, drps regarding the drug therapy itself is there is the therapy achieving the desired goal or outcomes so it is assessing the drug response is the therapy tailored to this patient does this therapy um, considering all other factors uh, in that particular patient's uh, treatment third uh, do they require any lab test to confirm the drug use, uh, safety and the side effects for example, a therapeutic drug monitoring needs to be done to ensure for the um, therapeutic level of a drug, especially for drugs with a narrow therapeutic index. Number four is non-drug therapy appropriately used. For example, uh, if the patient is newly diagnosed with diabetes, does the patient encourage to do a diet therapy first before the initiation of a pharmacological agent? Is it appropriately uh, advised? Fifth, uh, comparative efficacy of chosen uh, medications. Whether the medications that are being given now is comparatively more efficacious than, uh, than other selection and also the relative safety of chosen medication. And number six is, is medication on formulary. So when recommending a drug therapy, we also need to consider whether the medication is in the formulary of the ministry or not because it will affect the feasibility and the availability of the medication to the patient. Points to consider when we when you evaluate the appropriateness of drug therapy, as I mentioned, comparative efficacy and safety as compared to other alternatives, regardless it is within the same uh, type of drug or same or, or other groups, Form formulary issues, achievement of therapeutic goals, you need to uh, know whether the patient is achieving the therapeutic goal or not, and also patient-related characteristics like age, gender, or religion. So next is a drug regimen. So once we have evaluated the type of drug, now we want to look at the regimen of the drug itself. So whether the dose and dosing regimen is appropriate, whether the dose is within the therapeutic uh, recommended dose, and whether or whether it's uh, modified for patient's factor. For example, if patient's having... Uh, a renal impairment, then we need to modify the dose and the dosing regimen. And the appropriateness of PRN medications is the patient also receiving uh, medications that need to be taken in PRN basis. And is route uh, dosage form mode of administration is appropriate or not? And the length of course of therapy whether it is appropriate, um, we need to consider efficacy, safety, convenience for the patients to take it, uh, patient's limitation, length of course of therapy, and also the course. So everything about the drug regimen, whether it is appropriate for your patient, including all the other patient factors. So points to consider, the dose itself, the route, the frequency, dosage form, and also duration. So everything needs to be tailored to the patient. Next is the therapeutic duplication or polypharmacy. So is there any therapeutic duplication in your patient? This is more likely to occur when your patients have a list of medication that they are currently taking. And if they are going to multiple pharmacies um, to get any uh, OTC medications, and if they're also seeing multiple doctors, they might be prescribed with a similar medication. 
So look, so look for the medications that have the same similar pharmacological action. Next is the adverse drug reaction. This is when the patient is experiencing unexpected complication or effect from a drug, which requires uh, further medical attention. We need to ask whether those symptoms are drug induced. So is it uh is it likely to be caused by any of the drugs that the patient is taking? So evaluate that your patient uh, is it at risk. So also evaluate uh, the symptom of the problem based on the uh, patient characteristic itself, whether it's the patient is actually at risk of developing that ADR. And also we, we can use tools to establish causality between the drug and the event, whether it is likely, or is it possibly, or is it probably caused by that drug. So we can use an either Naraho scale or WHO UMC causality assessment. Naraho algorithm has uh, 10 questions in which you need to answer and each question is given a score. So this is the classification of the score if the uh, score is more or equals to 9, then it is definitely caused by the suspected drug. Next is the drug allergy or intolerance. So evaluate whether your patient is having any allergies, previous history of allergies to certain medication or certain type or group of medication. And if yes, is the patient currently using any method to alert healthcare provider of the allergy or not? So probably they have identified their history of allergy but they do not have any uh, any method to prevent that uh, drug allergy in which you can uh, you can uh, recommend any things to 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 and you can recommend any method to do that points to consider is the nature of the drug allergy is it because of the medication is it because of the other pollutant uh, also consider the severity is the allergic reaction cause a very mild or is it going to cause hospitalization even for this patient so you need to weigh in the uh, the risk and also what is the type of reaction or intolerance that the patient uh, might have <music>